One of the reasons I love FL Studio is that ImageLine has made it clear that once you purchase a license, you'll get lifetime free updates forever. And in my opinion, the past couple of FL Studio updates have been particularly game-changing. And so in this video, I'm going to share with you my top 10 favorite new FL Studio features. Plus, I'm actually going to include a bonus feature at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around for that. So at the time of recording this video, I'm using FL Studio version 24.1. And the first feature I want to talk about is an extremely useful keyboard shortcut, which allows you to navigate in the playlist much easier. You can now hold down shift and then use the scroll wheel on your mouse to move back and forth in the playlist. Don't forget you can also hit control and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Being able to switch between the two of these makes navigation in the playlist so much easier. And then if you need to go up or down, you can just click the mouse wheel and go in any direction you want on the playlist. FL Studio has finally started to add the feature of allowing you to customize keyboard shortcuts. So far you can only change a few, but ImageLine has announced that they do plan on expanding this in future updates. We can do this by going to Options, General Settings, and then under Input, click Manage Shortcuts. I'm definitely interested to see where ImageLine takes this in the future. One of the coolest new features of FL Studio 24 is the chord generator that has been added in the piano roll. This is similar to Scalar 2, although it's not quite as advanced, but having this feature built directly into the piano roll is huge. So if you're in the piano roll, you can go up into your piano roll options, go to tools, and then click generate chord progression. Alternatively, as long as you're in the piano roll tab, you can just hit Alt P and it will open it up. Now, I don't wanna to waste too much time going through every single feature, but the basic way this plugin works is by picking a scale and then generating a random chord progression. We can also choose how conventional or how adventurous we want our chord progression to be. If you're liking the chord progression, but you wanna change one of the chords, you can hit the lock icon on any of these that you don't want to change. Then when we hit generate, it's only gonna change the chord that we haven't locked. You can also experiment with different chord inversions by bringing this number up or down here. Then when you're happy with your chord progression, you can just hit accept. And now there's literally no more excuses to ever have producers block again. Another cool feature that just got released with FL Studio 24 is the ability to view the FL Studio manual inside FL Studio. To turn this feature on, just go to options, go to general settings, and then scroll all the way to the bottom. Then under the advanced tab, go here and click show help in a panel. And now you can view the full FL Studio manual while you're producing music. Also, since we're already in the general settings tab, let's take a look at another new feature. Scroll all the way back up to the top here and where it says colorful waveforms, click this and go to color map. This will make all your audio clip waveforms colorful. You can also edit these colors by going to options, theme settings, and then click here where it says waves. And then we can change the colors and even move the Hertz values around if we want to. One of the most insane features that FL Studio has recently added is the ability to extract stems from a song or a sample. It's honestly crazy because I remember not that many years ago, it was super frustrating trying to find acapellas to do like a remix or a bootleg. And then when the technology did actually come out to do this, you would generally have to pay for a premium service to get good results. And now it's literally built into FL Studio and the results are amazing. So the first time you use this feature, it will need to be downloaded. But once you have it downloaded, you just need to click here on your audio clip and then go to extract stems from sample. Now, make sure that if your track doesn't have any vocals on it, that you deselect the vocal stem because otherwise the AI might try and take some of your leads and put them on the vocal stem and it might turn out sounding kind of weird. Then you can just click extract and it will generate the stems for you. Making clips unique in the playlist has gotten even easier with the most recent update. You can now do this by simply copy pasting an audio, MIDI, or automation clip. Highlight the clip or clips you want to copy, hold shift, V, and then click and drag the samples to wherever you want them. And FL Studio will automatically make them unique. You can also make a bunch of clips unique by highlighting all of them and then just clicking control, shift, and V. FL Studio has added another new feature which allows you to find where a file is located on your computer. So go into your channel settings and right click on the waveform down here and then just go to where it says locate file. Easy as that. 
FL Studio has made a couple of improvements to Edison. The first one is that they've improved the AI declipper tool. This thing is super powerful now. Go ahead and load up Edison on a free mixer track, then load in your audio clip that you want to fix. Then go up here to the brush icon, click it, and then enable declipper down here in the bottom. The first time you do this, you'll have to download it, but then you'll be able to set the threshold, choose between general and vocal, and then click accept. And it will work its magic and declip your audio. The second new Edison feature is a vocal isolation tool, which is essentially another way to extract vocal stems from a track. If you want to do this, go ahead and click tools, go down to vocal denoise slash isolator. And then once it's done analyzing, you can move this mix knob back and forth to isolate the vocals or the rest of the track. FL Studio is always releasing new plugins. And the three big ones they just released with FL Studio 24 are low lifter, spreader, and Kepler XO. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should do a tutorial on any of these plugins. Now, all of these plugins are cool, but the one that I'm most excited about is Spreader, because up until now, all the stereo plugins in FL Studio can potentially really mess up the phase of what you're using it on, which basically just means that it's not really mono compatible. This can potentially cause issues in your mixes. However, Spreader is basically a stock FL Studio version of Ozone Imager, which is fully mono compatible. So now you can add extra width to your tracks with without worrying about doing any damage to your mixes. So at the beginning of this video, I told you I was gonna share with you a bonus feature, and I'm actually gonna do two. The first one isn't anything too crazy, but FL Studio has enabled a new feature that allows you to hide your name on the hint panel. To do this, go back into your general settings, scroll all the way to the bottom, and where it says show license information in the hint panel, you can change this to license plate, and there you go. Now it's just a bunch of letters and numbers. The other bonus feature I wanna talk about is FL Cloud. This is basically FL Studio's own version of Splice, and I think this is ultimately going to be a huge game changer for FL Studio. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't actually used FL Cloud all that much, so I'm hoping to hear from some of you in the comments what you think about it so far. However, the way FL Cloud currently works is that everyone gets access to it even without a paid subscription. This free tier gives you access to a limited amount of samples and loops. And right now you get an additional 11 plugins for free. If you want to download those plugins, you just need to go to add, then go to manage FL Cloud plugins. You'll need to sign in, but once you've done that, you'll be able to install all the plugins in this tab and they will automatically be added into FL Studio. But there's a couple of other tiers which allow you to have full access to all the samples and even more plugins. And then in addition, to all that, ImageLine has also partnered with DistroKid to allow unlimited distribution, which is included in either one of these paid plans. And also as an incentive to get people to try out FL Cloud, ImageLine is allowing everyone to get full access for an entire month. Now, if you want to find out more about FL Cloud, ImageLine does have an FAQ page on their website, which is pretty helpful. I'll be sure to leave a link to that in the description of the video. Now, if you want to learn even more FL Studio features, tips, tricks, hacks, I made a video a few weeks ago, which covered 17 extremely useful things that you should definitely know about FL Studio. Click the video on the screen now to check that out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.